Now, in this example, we're only interested in executing a query. We're not actually going to get any results back from it, or we will get the result as to whether or not it may be failed, but we're not interested in collecting any fields. We're basically doing a delete, we're doing an insert, and the only thing we're interested in is whether or not the thing is successful. So to do that, instead of doing a transaction.query, we're actually just going to do a transaction.execute. And then here we're just putting in everything pretty much like the other query. We've got the accent grav wrapping our query. We got the question marks doing our, our placeholders. And then we're feeding the variables that we want to work with into the query. Now, once you get through executing the query, the next thing to do is to check to see if you got an error message that was returned. And so to do that, we're just going to say if error does not equal nil. So basically the same thing we did up here, except this time we're going to return a one nil and an error. So it, it really just depends on what you're trying to accomplish here. But we now have two different ways we can run a query. We, we can do a query where we're actually looking for results and we're going to assign them to the individual variables that we had defined. Or in this case, we're just executing the query and moving on.